what are some of the good things and maybe not so good things about belonging to a mega church? Now I have to admit up front, I'm a little biased because I belong to a mega church. A mega church is often defined as people who attend a church that's over 2000 members. Pro number one, there's lots of serving opportunities at a mega church. Whether it's you want to help the homeless, or you want to put clothing together, or you'd like to become a small group leader, whatever it is, a large church is going to be able to plug you in to where you feel the most comfortable. Number two, greater resources to learn and grow. Chances are a mega church is going to have a class on almost anything, whether it's Old Testament, New Testament, growing your faith, your spiritual gifts, evangelism. They're going to have a class to help formally grow your faith. In addition to classes, they're going to have opportunities to get help, whether you need help with grief or whether you need help with addiction. Perhaps it's pornography or some other support group that you need help with. Chances are a larger church is going to have it. Pro number three, community outreach and social impact. Now, a mega church is often going to allow you the opportunity to go out into the community and be able to serve. They might have more of a presence in their community. Another way that this can be helpful is in short-term missions. So if you're somebody who likes to go to foreign countries and help out, chances are a mega church is going to have a greater opportunity to serve both locally and internationally. Number four, quality worship experience. I found that with a mega church, they tend to have a big pool of musicians and vocalists to pull from, sometimes even professionals. So when you go to the church, oftentimes the worship music and the experience tends to be almost on the level of a Broadway performance. Now, this might be a pro and con depending on what the way you look at it, but for me, it's definitely a pro for a mega church. Pro number five for a mega church, resources for children's ministries. Chances are they're going to have a dedicated pastor to each individual children's group, whether it be elementary, middle school, high school, young adults. Not only are they going to have a dedicated pastor oftentimes, but the resources put into the different types of programs and worship nights is going to generally be top notch. Now, of all the pros, there's definitely a couple of downsides depending on how you're wired. These are a couple of my potential cons for joining a mega church. Con number one, potential lack of personal interaction. If you go into a mega church, there's a possibility that you might get lost in the crowd. Somebody might or might not come up and greet you. You might have a situation where you can feel a little bit lonely in a mega church. It will definitely take a little bit of determination to reach out, join groups, and get more connected. Potential con number two. They tend to be in large buildings. This can be intimidating for some people. As you walk in, as it feels like almost like a rock stadium, this can feel a little bit overwhelming for some people. So that, I would say that's a potential con number two. And both the pros and the cons are going to depend how you're personally wired. I hope this helps you pick the next best church. God bless.